I was a very outgoing child. My first steps was when I was nine months old and I was walking backwards. And anyone who knows me would say, that's, that's Laura right there. You would come out walking backwards. I was a daddy's girl. I'm the youngest of three girls. We were all close growing up. But we always had special bonds with each other. My father was military, he was active. I was happy, I was happy. <laughs> On 9-11, I watched the towers fall and had a conversation with my father that I will never forget of when Flight 93 went down in Pennsylvania and those heroes on that flight that truly did fight for our freedom. Like most veterans, that was our call to duty. That's what drove us, something inside of us. So I waited till I was 18 to enlist, and I enlisted. I went active duty in the United States Army in support of 82nd Airborne at Fob Spiker, Iraq. It just felt right. It, it's what I was meant to do is to serve. It's this sense of oneness. Race doesn't matter. That religion doesn't matter. Political views don't matter. It's this true bond of one purpose, one goal, one mission. But with the good always came the drastic, horrific side of combat. I remember a lot. It was hot. It was, uh, sand storms would come and they would feel like they last for eternity. Time ceased to exist when you were there. receive gunfire every night. We would receive mortar rounds. Being mortared every night was a normal. I just wanted to escape. I would think of my sisters. I would disconnect to a place to survive. I was sent on emergency leave back to the States with PTS. And then I became my PTS. And I was stuck there for a decade. I became the most destructive person that I knew. I numbed, I hid, I avoided, I ran. It was a revolving door of addictions. I was always lying and running and cheating and I didn't know how to articulate what had happened, what I had seen, what I had done. I didn't come back the same person. My sisters immediately knew. Laura moved to Florida to start over. When she arrived, she found Homebase's Warrior Health and Fitness program. The organization runs the program in New England and also has an outpost down at Fenway South in the area by JetBlue Park. When I came across Homebase, Homebase was an organization to keep veterans active and that's what I enjoyed. This program was for fun and for free and it was engaging with other people on the same journey. Our main component of the program is exercise, kind of establishing a wellness program. It comes with two personal trainers, a yoga coach, a sleep coach, and a nutritionist for six months. I was overweight. I have lost about 22 pounds working with the guys. The workout programs we put together are very similar to what we put together for our athletes here at the Red Sox. Our goal is to help people move better. Move better, feel better and be ready to take a leap to more intense clinical care when and if it's needed. 
that's when I decided I'm going to trust this process and I don't know what this process is, but something's gonna change and I'm gonna live differently. I first heard of the intensive clinical program when I was working out with one of my trainers. He's like, are you interested in going to Boston? And I looked at him, I'm like, yes. The ICP is a two-week program that we've found to be transformative for people. We specialize in treatment of PTSD and traumatic brain injury. However, uh, you know, people are also here working on um, problems with depression or general anxiety, uh, relationship issues, substance abuse issues. Often these things come together, so uh, we try to have a broad spectrum of treatment options for them. At Homebase, we have a pretty vast multidisciplinary team, and um, the ICP really highlights that team. Bringing in art therapy with you know traditional psychotherapy and medications, and um, combined with um, alternative or um, integrative therapies like yoga and tai chi. I mean, it's, it's powerful, you know, when you see the, the, um, the benefits of the work that you've put into helping someone. And, you know, and I think in the two-week setting, um, you see it really happening. Treatment works. And when you put 100% in, you can get 100% out. The hell that combat put me through, it's worth it to know that I was willing to die for my country, and now I'm willing to live. And as a veteran's advocate, I'm very humbled to be part of something bigger again. This week I was with the guys doing a photo shoot, doing sunset beach yoga, and one of my trainers just looked at me, he was like, you were zenned out. You were just in your zone, Laura. And I was like, I'm happy, yes. <laughs>